Hey guys, so today's video is another empties and I have been making it a point to try to do these more often, at least once a month. And I was actually surprised that I have quite a few things, a few makeup-y things, some skincare things. So, as you know, if you've watched any of my previous videos, empties videos, which I will link some of them throughout the video, I just randomly go in through this bag, which was like a free gift at Sephora. I have one of the VIP stuff, I think it was last year. This is what I use to keep my empties in it, and when it's this time to do this video, I just kind of stick my hand in there and I just pull as I go instead of dividing them up. And also, this is the first time that you're watching my empties video. I like to do empties when I have just a handful of products versus a full bag. That way, I'm able to really give you a lot of detail and descriptions on the products because I am a descriptive person, and if you're going to spend money on the products that I have used or recommend, I want you to get all the information that you can about the product before spending your own hard-earned money, uh, just because that's what I feel is right. So that's why I am going to keep these sort of minimal with the amount of products. So the first thing is the Dove Refresh and Care Volume and Fullness Dry Shampoo. Looks like this. It's available pretty much at any drugstore. This is the one that I've used for many, many years. I have used the Dove one and you get five ounces for right around five to six dollars just depending on where you go. CVS is sometimes a little bit more expensive than if you go to Walgreens or Walmart. But relatively speaking, and this is a very affordable dry shampoo and it works really well. As with most dry shampoos, you will see a white cast if you use a lot of it, especially if your hair is dark. I have red hair that's a little bit on the darker side, so I recently switched to a more expensive high-end <laughs> dry shampoo that is like, I don't know, at least three times the cost of this and it's for dark hair and it works really well and I like it. But um, it makes me cringe to spend so much when something like Dove works really well. And as far as the volume, I do get a little bit of volume. Fullness, it's kind of hard for me to experience that just because my hair is very thin and very fine. So for me personally, I believe that I will need more than just a dry shampoo to, to give me the volume and the fullness and thickness that I would love to have. But I just don't think that you will get that from this. But aside from that, I think it's a really good dry shampoo to have. And I have used this for a very long time. And I usually have two bottles under my sink because I use dry shampoo every single day. Even the same day that I wash my hair, it gives me a little bit more texture. So I like this one and it's a great option from the drugstore. The next product is the CeraVe, which on Grey's Anatomy, they pronounce it CeraVe. CeraVe? So who knows, right? <laughs> yes, I'm behind on the curve with um, Grey's Anatomy. I'm on season five. I know. I get it. I'm, I've been on a rock, but you know I'm going to catch up. <laughs> but the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser for normal to dry skin is the cleanser that I have been using for a while. I have another one that I have been working on for the last couple of weeks. This is actually a really good cleanser. It cleanses very well. It hydrates. It never strips my skin. And it has a patented technology that sort of has a time release to the ingredients, so you get the hydration throughout the day. Now, how much of that could be true as far as a cleanser is concerned because you put it on and within seconds you rub it off and rinse it off, whatever. But I do believe that it is a non-irritating, just like it says. It hasn't made me break out or anything like that. It has hyaluronic acid, which is very good for hydrating the skin. Hyaluronic acid holds a thousand times its weight in water. So it's a very good ingredient to have if you have dry skin or feeling um, some of the dryness. Even now that we're going into the summertime, maybe not as much as wintertime, but it's a very good cleanser. And like I said, I've purchased my second bottle of this, and I used to use this when I lived in Colorado, and that's when I had the best skin. And this never failed me then. And so far, it's doing really well for me. And it comes out kind of like a kind of milky sort of jelly type of texture. It's not very creamy. It's not oily. But it is a little bit on the thicker side. And it does feel very emollient when you're rubbing it in. So if you're used to having cleansers that you put on and then rinse off and feel very clean, like sometimes squeaky clean, which isn't very good for the skin. If you're used to that, then it's going to be an adjustment to this because you will feel a moisture sort of left on the skin when you rinse it off. The next product is Aquation. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is the Daily Moisturizing Lotion Powered by Hydro Balance. For all skin types, this was actually sent to me months ago uh, through Influencer. They sent me a box full of things to try and review, and if I like the products, I could do a video on it. And I was actually pleasantly surprised that I enjoyed this. Like, I'm telling you guys, like, there is nothing coming out of this bottle. I use it all. I use it a lot on my hands, and it's really good. It's a non-greasy, uh, lightweight formula. 
that um, it says non-comedogenic, fragrance-free, clinically proven, dermatologist tested. So it's kind of one of those brands that's along the lines of the CeraVe or CeraVe <laughs> and the Cetaphil, which is very gentle and um, just nourishing for the skin. Now, I haven't been able to find this in any of my local stores. Maybe I'm not looking hard enough, but I would purchase this again. And so would I repurchase. Obviously, I've gone through another one of those, but... I would, and it says um, enriched with ceramides and hyaluronic acid, so very similar to the CeraVe or CeraVe, and um, I haven't been able to see this in my local store, so I don't, I don't know if this is something new that hasn't sort of made its way into all the stores, but if you've seen this and you want something that is very lightweight, that's not greasy, that doesn't have a lot of fragrance for your body, this is it. All right, so the next thing is the Tresemme uh, Tray 2 hairspray. I have been using this. I don't know, probably like 10 years now. This is the only, ew, and it's kind of like nasty. Um, this is the only, basically the only type of hairspray that I purchase. I don't use hairspray that often, and I only use hairspray when I do waves, beachy waves, or curls to my hair. Um, but when I have it straight or in a side braid or like my two braids that I do sometimes just to be around the house, I don't really use a lot of it. So I use this only when I really style my hair or I'm going to a special event. Or I really want my hair to keep a specific style. This is very good. It never leaves my hair feeling crunchy. It never leaves that sort of white, sticky, nasty residue. It's a very good one and it's super cheap. I think it's like less than four bucks. It's like dirt cheap. So for me to even think about venturing into other brands that are not at the drugstore makes me cringe because even some drugstore brands are like more expensive than this and it's 11 ounces and works really great. And I've never had any issues with it. And it holds my hair pretty well, which is great. And like I said, it's less than four bucks. Like, why wouldn't you want to try this? This is the tray two, the green one. This is the only one that I've tried. I don't think I've tried any of the other ones. Just because I really like this. It says extra firm control. Works well. I like it quite a bit. <laughs> so we're going to get into a few makeup things. So the first thing is the Tarte Tardis Lash Paint Mascara. I really love this mascara. If you've been watching my videos, you know this already. I have a backup of it ready to go, but I've been using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara that I did a video review on and demo. I'll put the link here. And that has been the mascara that I've been using a lot lately. I'm wearing it today. I've been wearing it every time I do my mascara because it gives me such a good result. Like I get length, I get volume, thickness, definition, and it makes my lashes look really dark and very dramatic looking. And that's kind of what I get with this. So I really enjoy that mascara from L'Oreal and I love this. This has been like my go-to mascara for, I don't know, six months. <laughs> I don't know when's the last time I tried anything besides the newest L'Oreal mascara because this was like my go-to and I still love it. I will still open my box of my little reserve that I have. Yes, I do have one and I will repurchase this. I would definitely recommend it if you want something from that's a little bit more high-end but not super expensive. I think it's like $20. Uh, that gives you length, volume, separation, and never goops up, and never makes the lashes look like you have two lashes and like spider lashes. I hate that. And it's really good. And it says made in Italy. And I always have enjoyed my Tarte products. I very rarely am disappointed with their products. They have good ingredients. They don't have bad chemicals or preservatives, parabens, things like that in their products. So it's a really great line. I have a Catrice Brow Definer, the long-lasting brow definer in the shade Chocolate Brownie. I have had this for months. I think I bought this when I was in Georgia last year. And it's been sitting in this little bag for about a month now, but it's been dried out for a very long time. It's just been sitting in my drawer. But I really enjoyed this because it's a liquid liner type of applicator. And I'm able to use something like this to get more hair-like um, strokes in where I have bald spots within my brows and that's a problem because I do have some spots that don't grow back for whatever reason whether it's over waxing over plucking whatever it happens where you take the hair out and it just doesn't come back so I use something like this that's kind of like a liquid liner uh, to kind of fill in the spots and I really enjoyed it the only downside is that the color range at Ulta is not that great. I think it's only like three shades and it I don't feel like a lot of people can fit in just three range or three colors. So I would like to try something like this from another brand. Maybe I could find one from the drugstore that is for brows um, in a, I don't know, this was a little bit on the warm side as well, this chocolate brownie color, but 
I liked it. So if you have little spots that you want to fill in and make it look more like hair, you could use something like this instead of using a powder because it may not make those bald spots look like a hair is there. Whereas this, you can actually do like tiny little hair strokes to kind of mimic real hair. I don't know. It's kind of, it's a long process to do. Honestly, it's, it's more tedious than just using a brow product or just scribbling on a pencil. But I liked it. And I would go back to this if I could find different colors. I would definitely repurchase that. Okay, so I'm going to take the last few things out because there's just like a few little handfuls um, of little smaller things. Okay, so this NYX Crystal Hip Liquid Liner. It's um, one of their glitter liners. It's completely like solidified. It's disgusting. Um, yeah, and when I take it out, it's just like big goops of things. But it's very pretty. It's got a clear base but the glitters are kind of like rainbow glitter so it's really cool to kind of do accent wings or do glitter cut creases whatever you want um but yeah it kind of got disgusting and like I'm trying to like bang this thing up to see if it comes down but it's not it just it's solid in there and whoops <laughs> this is just not not good anymore okay so a couple things um for mascaras I have two other ones these are minis from Bare Minerals the Lash Denomination, the Petite Precision Brush, and the regular Volumizing Lash Denomination Mascara. These came in a set that I got um, during the Christmas holiday. Um, I didn't like the Lash Denomination. It has a different type of brush. It's kind of like a swirl brush here. Hopefully the camera is picking that up. Um, so the brush is okay. The formula is okay. It's not really my favorite. Um, it's a little too wet. And it smells awful. Ugh. Like, I can't even, that just makes me want to, that just, no. The smell of that is horrible. I don't know if that's just a bad one or if it smells that way, but it is pretty disgusting. And I don't want that around my eyeballs. <laughs> and the Lash Nomination Petite one, which is a smaller one, I will show you that brush. It's much smaller than the first one, which is the full size. This is meant to be more precise if you have shorter lashes. This is good for the lower lash line. However, this one doesn't smell as bad, but it's still got some funk to it. And I'm not all about that. And it's kind of goopy and clumpy and too wet of a formula. So those are absolute no-goes for me. I have a Kat Von D tattoo liner. This is just the travel size. You can get these in like kits. This is a really, really good liquid liner. I have used this for a very long time, since it probably since it first came out. And it's one of the best liquid liners that I have used, and it's just so easy. It's one of those pen styles. The tip of it is very flexible, so it's just easy to do the line. Um, it's very soft and flexible, so if you're used to using liquid liners that have more of a marker tip, that are a little bit harder, more firm, this one is a bit of an adjustment as well because it is really soft, but it just glides, and it's a nice, rich black formula. It never creases and fades or go up into the upper crease area it doesn't flake off it just looks really intense and I love the way it looks and it's just so easy to use I do have another one that I'm using right now from Lancome but honestly I think I'm gonna go back to this last two products are skincare products the first one is the Tiamine eye complex eye cream and I will show you up close what that packaging looks like and this is by a brand called revision skincare which is a medical grade skincare line and you can find it at some dermatologists, some plastic surgeon's office, some medical spas may carry it. And you can also find some retailers online that sell it. This has been a very popular cream as far as like reviews on a website, lovelyskin.com, which is where I've ordered medical grade stuff from. And this had a lot of reviews. They had it on sale and I was looking for an eye cream because I ran out of my, what was it, the La Roche-Posay Active C that I think I talked about in my last empties. So I bought this in December, and I'm pretty much almost out of it, I'll show you. Don't have that much left, but I can probably make use out of this for maybe another week or so. by like scraping it out, and I use Q-tips. I generally don't like creams in like little pots like this, because every time you put your finger in there, you're transferring germs or whatever. So I always use a Q-tip, get a little bit out, put it on, dot it on, and then blend it in with my finger, seal this, and put this away where the light and air doesn't hit it all day long so it doesn't lose its effectiveness but it's a good eye cream it's a little bit pricey obviously because it's medical grade so it's going to cost a little bit more um, but you can find creams that are in the same price point as Sephora so maybe it's not super expensive but it's good 
It hydrates, leaves my skin looking really nice and smooth. However, I do have some fine lines and I don't think one jar is enough to, for me to say, oh, it fills in those lines or makes those lines less apparent. When you hydrate your skin, you don't really see dryness or crepiness as much as when your skin is much drier. So I do think that this does hydrate my skin and it works well under concealer. It's just a little bit pricey, so I think I'm going to try something else. But that doesn't mean that I won't go back to this. I never had any issues with the irritation or anything like that. And I take this all around the orbital bone. And it works really well. So I think that for me to sort of say whether or not it does anything for fine lines and wrinkles, I would definitely have to repurchase another one and go through that and see what the results are. But, I mean, my under eye area does feel nice and smooth. So that's a good thing. I guess it worked on that end, right? And then the last thing is the Is Clinical Active Serum. This is a tiny little sample that I um, got in a beauty box. It's called Beauty Box MD. I found them through Instagram. And they sent out uh, monthly, not monthly, but quarterly boxes of medical grade skincare samples. And the first box that I got was Is Clinical, which is very, very expensive. <laughs> Let me just say. Um, I've been intrigued by this active serum for a very long time. So this serum has Several different acids, glycolic acid, salicylic acid, lactic acid, kojic acid, and arbutin. Arbutin helps with brightening and helps with lightening the, the scars and pigmentation. So essentially what this is supposed to do is help treat acne, help with fine lines and wrinkles, help get rid of dead skin. It helps with um, like pores because the salicylic acid, the glycolic acid as well helps with dead skin. So I was using this little sample. This little jar, little vial lasted me a month and a half and I was using it every single day and I probably overdid it because that's around the time when my skin started to feel a little bit itchy and I started getting kind of flaky and I thought this doesn't seem right and that's when I went to the doctor which that would have been the beginning of May so I did purchase this though um, in half sizes it comes in half sizes for $80 the full size which is an ounce is $130 so I did buy the half ounce and I use this sometimes as a spot treatment um, because I did put in an order for it before my skin started getting really itchy to the point where it was bothering me. So I still have it and I still use it from time to time. I will use it once a week on my face to exfoliate. It does give me a nice glow to my skin. And when I put this on, and this is the, the funny part, even though it may be in too much to use every single day, when I use this as a spot treatment, I'm not kidding. I'll put it on a spot and within like a couple days, it's gone. Like, I don't know. It's got to be something that's in it. Like I have this little bump here on my brow, which I think is from the Benefit Cabral, which is like a pomade type product. And I did get one over here as well. But I put this on, like just a dab of it. And within three days, the whole thing went from being so red and inflamed to almost flat where you could barely even tell it was there. And sometimes if I get like a little spot that kind of feels like a pimple or something maybe, I'll put it on there and then nothing comes of it. And I never broke out while using this. So I thought, okay, I must be onto something. So... I'll definitely keep using my half size vial of it and I'll report back if any of you are interested in this brand or this product if you've seen it and you want to know more about it. Um, I do have some other medical grade skincare products that I'm trying to work through. Wraps up everything. I know this video was a little bit longer than I intended it to be, but when I get into skincare talk, I can talk. <laughs> I love skincare and it's just something that I really enjoy. I hope that you found this video helpful, these reviews, and if you have any comments that you'd like to leave based on these products, if you've tried them, recommendations, by all means, let me know down below and I will do my best to respond. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for spending some of your day. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I post the video so you can get first dibs, first watches. That doesn't even make any sense. Anyways, have a fabulous day and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye-bye.